Hi guys, welcome back again to another video. Hey guys, hi. Today's video is going to be a school tour. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know, like school in Abome Calavi. No, no, you're not University of Abome Calavi. And it's one of the oldest, oldest government school. There's a long history. I don't know it. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen, but I'm going to do a voiceover later. But today I'm going to show you. There are so many institutions, so many faculties, so many colleges and whatnot you get it <laughs> and it's also a friend school yes you might be wondering how can someone like me a nigerian attend a friend school when i speak a little bit of french and if you don't know i'm also learning chinese so there's a kind of mix between it so i'm going to show you a little bit of everything because this place is a lot there's a lot to do here there's even a lot of places i've not been to as a human being for the past three years here so I'm just going to show you a bit of everything and I do hope you enjoyed the video. She's my photographer, she's my camera woman for today. And and what? Sponsor. No, she's not sponsoring <laughs> today, she's sponsoring on herself. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment down and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye. University of Abome Calavi, in French, which says Université de Abome Calavi, was established in 1970 as University of Dahomey, which became the National University of Benin in 1975, with a vision to promote equality and equity and produce quality human resources and management output, adapted the need of development of the country and nation. Currently, the University of Abu Mekalavi have 32 training establishments and 86,694 registered students. It is a multidisciplinary institution which provides training leading to officially recognized higher education degree such as certificates and diplomas, bachelor's degree, master's degree, doctorate degree in various disciplines such as health, agricultural science, arts and humanities, law, economics and businesses. It is considerably African-wide and international partnership program that has contributed into the realization of the mission and vision. So I just read to you a little info about the history of the University of Diabome Calabi. And with that said, let's just get straight into the school. I know half about three grades I'm familiar with. And over here, you can see there's a bank here, the UBA Bank, United Union Bank of Africa, which aids in paying for um, the school fees and probably other school items to pay for at the bank. And if you look a little bit closer, far from my left, yeah, you're going to see the second gate, which is usually called the Petit Portail. Yeah, exactly where I'm swimming right now. It is the Petit Portail. And also another easy access. Because of how large the school is, you basically cannot go with one gate. So I guess that's the reason why they had to bring the multiple gates.
so this place right now it's a study reading place a sit out for reading or probably be a meeting with your friends and just chilling under the tree and over at my right the blue plate painted building it's a recreational place where they just sell fast food there's a swimming pool area just a very recreational area to hang out with your friends i've been there a couple of times earlier if you are really if you're a student it's super affordable to be there why this place is Shalem botanic it's a botanical garden uh you pay a little affordable price to go see some animals insects crocodiles and whatnot i've also been there and i feel like as a student you're required to be there Right here is the Islamic institution, no, no, the Arabic institution. So if for some reason you want to learn Arabic, there's an institution for you there. They also provide it for students. And I've seen a couple of people there, so I feel like it's really something that's popping. So if you've been in Calavi or if you've no if you know anything about Calavi, this particular area is called Soul Master. So let's say you go to Calavi for a minute and you want to go to this place, they call it Soul Master. It's a very popular area in Calavi. It's at Subaje, Potai Subaje, and they actually learn English. There's an English library there. It's basically anything concerning English and here yeah, I was just showing my sister where I do have my lectures which is this particular building in French they call it Batima and she was just taking the view of every other places specifically all these um, buildings are not just for my classes there are other schools and other institutional colleges that go there for their classes so we just have two there and this area I couldn't film a lot here but this area downwards are uh, the cafeteria, the canteen, the photocopy, the snacks area. Anything food, photocopying, snacks are just that area. For some reason, I don't know how distracted I got. I couldn't film everything there. But that is that for me. It's really not the most latest place in the school. Sorry for that. And uh, this place, we bumped into this German library. This is just one of the many libraries in Abomekaravi University. And uh, this library is specifically for anything German related. Uh, we were opportunity to have a conversation with the guy in charge and he was really sweet. He gave us so much information we asked for. We took some pictures which should be on my Instagram. So please go check it out and give me a like, okay? And all in all, I think the place was good. Like I said, this is just one of the many libraries here. So for the Chinese, they have their library. For the English, like I said, they also have their library. And for other languages, our institution, they will, always, they will surely have their own library. So this place was really, really good. There is Wi-Fi, there is fun. It's extremely quiet. And I love it. Again, my sister was just taking everything about the school yeah i don't know if you can see but over there somewhere i don't know if you can see the white bus over there those are the place you just go and donate your blood yeah you donate your own blood for hospitals yeah i don't know if it makes sense but you go there you donate blood to them and to help other patients in hospitals that's a good citizen. And this place we are at is called IFRI. Yeah, it's for the information research and scientific department 
I love this place because the, the vibe here is so chilled. It was amazing. So I had to just bring my sister here. I had to see because again, this was my sister's first time of being in my school, in being in Abu Mekalavi. So I just had to use her, show her, and also show you guys what the whole school looked like. And if you don't know, Abu Mekalavi University have their own school bus. So because of the amount of people, the crowd, the lot, there are lots of people all over the country. Yes, all over the country that come to the school. So to enable very easy access, not just easy, but also very affordable access to it, they brought a school bus. So this school bus, you pay very cheap very affordable price and they take you from wherever your destination are down to the school the downside is that i experienced it for a few minutes for some few minutes and it was not the best i would just put this out say it was not the best no matter how affordable it was it was not the best but this side we are at is the lounge area i couldn't film the place but somewhere at my back over there um there was a basketball court and it was just a very loungy area not too far from the school hostel i know a lot of people would have been waiting for this one but this building you're seeing right here in front of me is the school hostel if i'm correct but please feel free to correct me if i'm wrong i heard that there's three type of hostel there's the one you pay a year you pay yearly with four other roommates. That's the one you pay as rent, which is monthly, with just yourself and whoever you want. And there's one for orphans, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is how they actually share the whole situation with the whole school. I, for one, have never experienced it. So I cannot sit here and tell you how it is. But that's just what the hostel looks like and right now the thought has already finished it's just the boss going out yeah the thought is finished right now we are just heading to the first gate i couldn't show you guys the other day which is the four types of budget are usually coming from i couldn't show you there but here we are going to right now is the first gate so if you're coming to um this is where you were coming for. Bye-bye.